Hello, everyone, and good evening. Welcome to Team Fortress TV. My name is Consul. I'm joined by the Bulldozer and Ire on the mic, and of course, Shears on the production booth, handling the button pushing. Uh, tonight, we're going to bring you some more invite action. Week six, B, the microwave versus Fairy Attack. How are y'all doing tonight? I mean, you know, I'm excited to see Fairy Attack in the microwave fight, but I'm more excited to be in a tricast with a uh, famed Pokemon commentator, the Bulldozer. Love to see it. How you doing, Bill? Oh, I'm doing all right. Really excited for some exciting TF2. You know, Microwave is a good team, and I'm really excited to see what kind of offense they can put together against the esteemed uh, juggernaut of TF2 invite Freya Tech. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a doozy. Microwave currently, I believe, sitting in last place, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, and uh, Freya Tech sitting on the top. Uh, that might be wrong. I'm gonna. That that is that. that is correct. Okay. That's uh, that's the TFT writer fact check that I actually don't know, but I'm pretty sure I heard someone say it. Uh, I did fact check it, and they are seventh, which is last. Nice. Uh, looking at the rosters here, uh, Freya Tech is uh Skis, Habib, Patty, Jay, Bainey, and Eric. Uh, just the same roster they've been rocking since around week three. Uh, which no team is the microwave? Is that the Dingo team? Uh, yeah. I think the microwave. Oh shit! It actually is. No. Oh. <laughs> no, the microwave. Uh, for those familiar with Space Pirates, it's literally the same lineup. We've got Sky on Medic, Chunky Dowman, Hayes Rakuso on Soldier, and then Phone and Shamu rocking the Scout combo. Yeah, team's looking kind of thick, but uh, unfortunately, the thickness of their looks has not matched the thickness of their uh, results. results. Yeah. Uh, their only win thus far this season is a. Four to three, close win on process week two versus Dexter's Lab. Uh, another team who are sitting towards the bottom uh, at fifth, uh, which I guess that actually is sort of in contention for playoffs. Uh, the season's been a little funky with uh, the invite count. You know, went from uh, ten to five to seven. Uh, lots yeah, of you know. lots of bouncing around. Lots of bouncing around, and you know where the teams are going to be bouncing around uh, on this map? It's actually Bagel. This is the first map I know we've cast on Bagel, and I think one of the first times it's actually been played. This map was only introduced into the invite pool for the sake of the uh, pick ban order. And honestly, I really love this map. It's a mega DM fest. It's The point's just going to be constantly trading fans. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, um, talking to some invite players, I know, um, actually, um, well... We are going live. Yeah, we uh, are going to cut it. you off, but... Yeah, uh, I'm going to throw my prediction out here as uh, a 4 for Freya, but, uh, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to be Devil's Advocate, I'm going to say 4-1 Freya Tech. You know what? I'm going to say that, uh, Freya Tech wins 4-0, however, Chunky's going to second damage in the server. I think, Freya, you have okay aim. Yeah, well... We're, we're just going to see... Uh, Second damage Eric in the server. Straight right in yeah. onto the side, trading out with um, Matt. I don't know who Matt is. My aliases are broken. Uh, I'm not sure either, but we got Patty going in on the, the enemy team, and uh, it's. Uh, it's a wipe. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even get time to talk because Freyo cleaned them up that fast. Uh, Sky, the only one left, uh, wasn't able to secure the dub, the dub ski for the uh, wave team. And now it's going to be uh, Freyo holding this point. Skis actually did go down in that fight, so it's going to be even Uber's uh, night. Oh, huge trap uh, puts a bunch of damage into uh, Hayes and Rakuso. Hayes is actually going to go down here. Looks like they're trying to re-aggress on the left side. Patty doing a big jump and taking a lot of eyes off of the combo here. Banny getting aggressive. Uh, Counterbomb from Patty is going to take two. Habib going to clean it up as well. There's an attempt onto Skis, uh, but it's just Hayes left, and he's a spawner. So, yeah, Looking solid so far for Freya. Yeah, basically another wipe. Just... Super solid hold, really knowing their angles, knowing their jumps. Yeah. Get massive damage from Patty. Yeah. Bill, what are your thoughts so far on this match? Well, you know, I think that Banny and Eric are better than everybody else in the server, and it really showed in these first couple fights. You know, Froyo ran in, they, they really clicked on the enemy gamers a lot better than the, the enemy gamers could click on them. And, you know, you can see the results pretty obviously. It's, you know, they're... Froyo Tech gaming. being Froyo Tech. Yeah, they're gaming. They're gaming out. Uh, and actually, I did have word from my on-the-ground reporter, Asian Boba Girl. Uh, shout out to them in chat that this is indeed the first bagel game of the season. You know, nice to see the new maps finally coming out. Uh, I know in Invite, sometimes we tend not see them due to the pick ban. Uh, Freya's sitting here with the forward hold in-house, just kind of chilling, 100% uber, but uh, Sky comes up on 
uh, her own Uber. So, well, we might try and see that's, some that's aggression out of the right. Instantly on that bush. And now, um, that's my sweetium. I don't know, my laces are broken. So, and yeah, that's another throw down. No Uber popped, but, it's, you know, a failed push, nonetheless. Yeah, Freya just keeping them locked in spawn here. This is, uh, the ultimate bully strategy. Uh, it doesn't seem like they've found a lot of opportunities here for the microwave to try and get out, but they're gonna uber straight into Freya tech. Oh my god, Skeez, Skeez is holding Skeez? on this for dear life. Skeez? Skeez is taking no damage. Skeez is gonna pop here. They're gonna drop <laughs> one player, but it doesn't matter. Oh, Skeez is at 40 health, but still not popping. What a legend. <laughs> I don't know if holding on so much as just not caring whatsoever about the players shooting him. Yeah. Ski's uh, pulling his normalized, uh, normalized drop in there. Hoping to just not right click if needed at all. Hazen Rakusa trying to make some space on the right side onto the nipple on point. But the Uber is going to come out from banning Eric and it's a slaughterhouse. Sky and Chunky going down. Only four left. Who is going to be the next victim of the Froyo train? Looks like it's going to be Rakuso going down. Sky and Chunky are spawners. But uh, Shamu and uh, Haze go down in the background. And yeah, it's just been an absolute lockout for Froyo Tech right now. Perfect timer on them. I don't even know if they've died too many. Jay will trade with Phone. Uh, it's all for naught, as it'll be the first round going the way of Froyo Tech. Uh, yeah. Can I change my 4 1 prediction? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going 4 0 micro. Higher, that's disrespectful. Well, uh, I think you've already lost, so, uh, you just suck already, Ayer. Uh, uh, but you know who doesn't suck? Freya going into this next mid, Habib throwing his early stickies out, and he's actually gonna try and lock them out of this right house. Uh, Patty trying to go behind Oh my god, huge Eric. air shot from Habib, holy- Actually, yeah, quite the, uh, okay. quite the pipe there, as, uh, yeah, there's- there's not much to say. It's- it's Froyo all the way for this one so far. Yeah. I, I think, did Sky actually live there, or was that a spawner? Sky actually did make it out with phone, so it's so, gonna be even Ubers. Yeah, so that is a, is a salvage there for the microwave, but... It, they'll have to leave uh, spawn this time, which they, they were struggling with, admittedly, last round. But maybe it's just some jitters, you know, maybe it's some nerves. Perhaps, perhaps, uh, they... They were cooking just a little bit too long in that microwave there. Uh, looks like Sky is trying to walk up the right side with Chunky and Co. Uh, it's Bob phone actually, it's Habib. As <clears throat> will be the Uber seemingly forced out by Patty. And it's just not much for the microwave here as, yeah, Habib Bulldog should be coming up on this respawn. And Fanny and Eric just absolutely cleaning house on the combo of the microwave. Yeah, there have been a couple of chances here for the microwave to occasionally get an edge up, a leg up on Freya Tech, but uh, every single time Freya Tech get the force out or they get uh, just multiple picks in return, it's uh, not looking too good here. Yeah, his phone, they tried to re-enter on the side, his phone dropped nearly instantly along with, I think, this Shamu. And uh, yep, just, just more time ticking down off the clock. Yeah, uh, unfortunately there uh, is not much to say about this so far. Once again, Skis on this major uber advantage. It looks like there's going to be a bomb in from Hayes to maybe try and get it out. And actually he's going to get some nice rockets onto Habib. But Habib's going to get a really sick arrow there and take down Phone in the process. Hayes going down to Banny as well on the right side. Um, yeah, we, like... It's gonna be really difficult here. It seems like the forward hole. I haven't seen much of this map since uh, its original release a few years ago. Uh, but it seems in the current version, it seems really difficult to break these forward holes. There's not a lot of opportunities to get out. Looks like they're just gonna have to take the Uber trade. Uh, looking right now in the favor of Froyo. Hayes actually kind of caught in with the, the forwards, and Bane is gonna get right onto the medic of Sky. Sky will pick up the pack, but Phone, Rakuso, and Hayes all falling to the hands of Habib and Jay. Uh, it's just, it's just Phone and Shamu left. And Phone's yeah, a spawner. I, mean, I kinda had- <laughs> I kinda had... playing friendly on the right side. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know how hard they're trying at this point. But, uh, you know, I, I had high hopes for this map because I, I know I have watched it a couple times in, like, Oz Fortress, and it's been a really, like, hectic DM trade. It actually 
it's gonna be a beep going down so uh, maybe an entry here get a get a cap for the side of the microwave uh they will lose one in response and yeah i know they are seem to at least be able to muscle their way towards the point whether they'll actually cap it out is another question yeah freya going for the perfect game here so far uh actually we might see the first cap of the game out of the microwave it's so close Oh, it's Chunky taking a scout oh. 1v1 on the point to Eric, and yeah, you don't win those. Yeah. As it's only Sky and uh, Hay is up to try and salvage maybe a cap in this second half <gasps> oh. of the micro. <laughs> it's is so legend. Slam. That uh, was. That air shot right there is a personification of uh, exactly what's been happening. I don't know if personification is the right word, but. Uh, I graduated with a 73 GPA in high school, so take that as what you will. GPA only goes up to 5. Well, my GPA was on 100 average, so... You're stinky, Bill. Whack. Very whack. Yeah. yeah, so, uh... I don't know if they're gonna... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if they're gonna give us a chance to look at these logs. Uh, it looks <laughs> like they just I, wanna... I don't, I don't think the microwave want us to look at those logs. <laughs> yeah, uh, things aren't looking so swell right now. Um, I mean... Credit where credit is due. They've been able to get some good picks early on. They've been picking off Habib quite a bit in these fights, but it just hasn't been enough momentum compared to the massive beast that Froyo have been. I also don't know how much that is just Habib trying to be, like, dumb aggressive. As, uh, yeah, it's three picks instantly the way uh, Froyo took this bit, only losing Eric in response. Uh, and it seems like all the microwaves just trapped in this, uh, right-hand house area. Patty comes by, picks up Sky. It's a full wipe once more on this mid. Yeah, uh, so I, um, talking about these predictions, uh, I did let you switch your prediction to 4 for the microwave. You know, um, I'm gonna predict that, um, the microwave will cap at least once. Bold predictions here. That is a rather bold prediction, uh. That's yeah, actually there, Jay goes down, K-pop Bob, you shouldn't have stand Luna. Yeah. It's gonna be perfect, like just Ubering straight in on this right side, trying to stuff the microwave in spawn. Uh, Sky will at least make it in the door, so not losing her life. Uh, and it'll be a fairly significant Uber ad for uh, the side of the microwave trying to push out here. Yeah, this might be the momentum that they need. Sky's always been at even or dis ad right here. They are done Rakuso, so they have to play a little bit careful on this back right side, playing uh, next to the house. And actually, uh, Habib is going to take down Phone. Hayes is going to go down next. They're trying to collapse on this combo. Sky's so hurt, falling back at 80, 90% Uber now. Getting chased down. Patty is going to find the frag. And he's going to find the scout, too. Is he going to get the third? No, it'll be cleaned up by Jay. And he's going to get the air shot! <laughs> oh. Oh, that was huge plays from Patty. That was. That just shut down any chance that Sky had of using that Uber advantage. Was it 95%? I actually will be switching off to the crits now. That was some fantastic play from. <laughs> from patty right there okay i actually I, I think capping may have been a more bold prediction than i uh, thought it was yeah but maybe will go down to haze but not before he cleaned up two players i don't Freya have been showing no respect and i i gotta say it's it's been working like every time like they've just been throwing players left right and center without any without any caution whatsoever like, right now, we're going to see Banny getting super aggressive here, only backing up because he's down to 60. But the rest of his team is following up on the aggression. Patty going to go for a bomb, but is taken down by Hayes. So this could be good news for the microwave. However, Phone does fall. Rakuso going in for a big bomb onto the Medic. We'll actually take down Skis. This could be really big for the fight. They have the Crits Krieg here. Uh, looks like Chunky. Oh, the get Chris actually gets forced out from Chunky. It's just Chunky and Sky. Sky no. alone now. The rest of the crits will be dropped. Eric gonna have to be taking a 1v1, but actually gets immediately supported by Banny from the flank. So it's just a hectic fight here in Yard. And uh, once again, Freya Tech coming out on top. I bet I'm at a bit of a loss for words here, you know? Yeah, there's uh, just every advantage that sky in the gang have had on the microwave have just been absolutely choked out of them by the Freya Tech stranglehold. I mean, indeed, and it's just these constant... Like, you know, this microwave don't have bad... But actually, my prediction! 
has come <gasps> true. The microwave has capped a point while I was waffling. And this <laughs> guy goes down. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be a short-lived point victory. At least for the t Well, as I say that, there's actually player advantage... Well, was player advantage for microwave. You see, for you, Tech, you're just... Banny just hitting the 180 me onto the scout of Shamu there. Just every, like every time you go to make a comment about how uh, the microwave are starting to pull things back, it's just Froyo coming back with a medic pick, a drop, a force, something. There's no better word for this than bullying. It's just Froyo Tech putting on a show for our, for the people in the audience here. As you know, we're, we're gonna see, you know, maybe they capped in that round, maybe this is some momentum. Maybe they can cap again. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we're, we're seeing Phone in the gang just, just chilling in spawn. Uh, I'm not sure really what's going on. Sky was uh, AFK for a little bit, I think. Yeah. Please tell me this isn't going to be an invite Highlander situation. Well, uh, we could always see a repeat of the bugs, you never know. Season oh. 22 famous match. Uh, I don't think so. I think Freya will just be looking up to, to clean this up nice and uh, nice and quickly here. First cap of the round. I, uh, I don't think Banny would allow that. Yeah, I I, t I think we've all seen the clips of how angry he got that time. So, uh, yeah, I, I th I, As I say that, Jay's on sniper. I think we'd be l watching Banny get a little turnt as the kids do. Yeah, I'm going to be watching Jay on what sniper are you talking here. About, dude? What are you talking about? <laughs> Yeah, Jay's gonna get the air shot. Body shot, but... <laughs> the sniper air shot. The bugs, <laughs> that's some ancient gamer stuff. Jay's actually hitting some dingers, ringing off a dinger onto the scout there. We'll be finished off by the rest of his team. I mean, we know Jay's a mental sniper. Like, he has that, like, 7k clip on Granary in the playoffs last season versus Freya Tech. Definitely no slouch. Yeah, uh, I also do know that he has been playing Scout. <laughs> they're, they they uh, are Ubering into spawn here <laughs> for the side of the Frog attack. Yeah, it looks like yeah. we're seeing the, the phone counter snipe attempt does get like a decent body shot to uh, push Jay back and him down to 50 HP. And actually, Skis, Eric, and Banny all went down in that fight. So we're going to see the aggression once more from the microwave. They do, uh, they also took, yeah, no, uh, never mind. Nope, nope, it's gone. Yeah, Chunky uh, goes down. We are actually, we are seeing history in the making. A second cap. Furyatek really losing it here. Yeah, actually, Hayes is quite aggressive in the f uh, the house right here. Gets a pick on to Eric and escapes with pretty decent health. However, the Uber did get uh, used by Sky, but it looks like it was used rather aggressively to get some picks out here. Um, this could be some good momentum. Maybe a round get taken here. Uh, actually, uh, oh my god, Jay's so deep. This is so dirty. Oh, oh. just barely misses the pick onto Sky. Sky's gonna rush him down, but he has a soldier protecting him here. Patty just making sure that nobody can touch Jay's greasy hands with that sniper rifle. Shamu is gonna go down for his troubles. Rakuso gonna quickly follow up, but gets a close up headshot and then finished off by Jay. Just uh, some more sick shots out of him. Yeah. Jay only hits hard shots. He's doing Dude, it for the shots, fans. Those other shots were too easy. Jay's doing it for the fans. The vape god himself. Yeah. yeah look, looks like we uh, see another Freya Uber, but Eric actually gets a drop. Doesn't matter though. Hayes and Chunky will be cleaned up by the Habib Banny Combo Wombo. Yeah, there's another spawn Uber. Eric will be fuming there. Got dropped there. You know. Skis. <laughs> oh my. Get, get destroyed. Speaking of fuming, once again, Jay the, uh... The vape fiend is just gonna absolutely delete the soldier there for the microwave. Only 50 seconds left until uh, likely this match will be over. But we actually are gonna see an Uber change out from Sky. Uh, Ski's only on 50% and taking some decent damage. Only 40 health is gonna live though. Uh, Chunky getting a little bit too aggressive with the rest of his team just sitting back on point and trying to get the cap. So. This is, should be, uh, once for you get all other spawns here and with skis. And taking down Rakuso is going to be a great entry into this fight. They should be able to retake it. Shamu now as well. Uh, three down, and it's going to be Phone and Co. backing up. Uh, yeah, indeed, it's very tech. We'll, uh, muscle Liquid back off the point. And, you know, I think it might be over. Eric gets dropped again. You hate to see it. Yeah.
And uh, in the words of our Lord and Savior, Jeremy Albertson, it's over. I want it to be over again. As uh, Jay's life is finally over, and actually Hayes will pick up Manning with all this consolation frags, maybe even a consolation cap going the way of the microwave. As uh, yeah, it actually will be Frytek retreating. We yeah. got a bit more time in this than we thought. Yeah, uh, Skis got pretty caught out in the connected area from the soldier pinch of, uh, Rakuso and Hayes. As I said, that Hayes actually going down. Uh, Eric falling to phone, though, as we're seeing, once again, this aggressive forward hold out of Sky and the gang. Kind of trying to mirror what Freya were doing to them earlier, so we'll see if it works out. They're gonna try and uber in aggressively as Freya were, but they're having no luck. Phone dropped in the uber, and they're gonna find anything else. Maybe a Habib pick, but that's about all it's gonna be for them, as Banny's now getting aggressive on main, making all the space the rest of his team. They don't see the trap, though. Chunky is gonna take down Banny, so gonna have to wait a little bit longer before they decide to push out. Eric going down as well. It's Jay. Patty and Habib, uh, actually, no. Jay's gonna go down as well. This Hay is going for the MG Lord Air shot, not gonna hit it on Patty, but it, it's actually holding on to the point here. It's only a minute left for the microwave, so maybe my first prediction, not as far fetched as I thought. Yeah, the microwave have actually done a really good job at clawing this round back. It was looking really dire for them, but they got that Uber off. They were able to hold forward for quite a bit of time. Looks like Freya are going to be able to recap as Skis does have the Uber advantage. And Sky is getting chased down by these soldiers and demos. Dodging for her life, won't be able to make it out. So many people falling once again for the microwave. Just the soldiers and demo man. Uber's going to come out for Freya. That's going to be all she wrote. Uh, That's GG Iyer. I, was it though? I mean, uh, right at the end, th that was actually a really solid. I mean, the start of that round was a little shaky with uh, the medic and scout staying in spawn for just a little bit. I think Sky looked like she was AFK there for a second, but uh, that that looked like that last round looked like it could really go either way. Um, I mean, you can make the argument that Jay was on sniper, but Jay was arguably being just as impactful on sniper as he was on soldier. He was making a lot of picks. He was hitting a lot of really nice shots. So I mean, yeah, Jay's an absolutely fat sniper. Yeah, also been uh, playing that ETF-12 Prem this season, so he's been getting his scout in, getting his hit scan on, even if it has been on 120 ping. Yeah, alongside uh, Slemnish over in Swift. We're going to be taking that game over on Team Fortress TV 2 on Thursday uh, versus, I believe it is, Nerd Rage. Uh, the Church of Az uh, Jezunus. Jezunus. Yeah, I was going to say Azunus, oh. but uh, I well, misread it. It's it. about Azunus, but it's the Church of Jezunus. Ah, I see. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, it's... Okay, I understand now. It is Aura Electro, the Church of Jezunus. I understand they're, they're the, the same joke. team. Dumb just refuses to call them the Church of Jesus. Ah, uh, unfortunate. My log combiner is not working, so uh, maybe we can get our on the ground reporter to hit me with some of those. Yeah, shout out to our uh, our beautiful writing team at Team Fortress TV, helping uh, play the support to our broadcast team. Yeah, so Bill, uh, uh, I think you got a pretty good glimpse of uh, some of that action. What did you think? I was not watching the game, I was looking at Helltaker Hentai. I thought you were playing Minecraft. That too. <laughs> I have two monitors and two hands. Well, and more power also to have you. coronavirus. The test has not come back yet. We'll find out in the next three days. Yep. Yeah, well, everybody in the chat, please uh, send all of your love to Bulldozer as a uh, he he may be in potential danger for being of the diagnosis of the positive. Hey it's gamers, let me get a one in the chat if you like Helltaker. We do actually have some combined logs here in coverage NA if you guys want to click on those. Ooh, actually let me check no, those out. No, it's combined. It's combined. And uh, yeah, it's actually Eric, despite getting dropped in all those Ubers, almost just one shy of 400 DPM. With a KD of four, or KAD of four, KD of two point five, on the scout class. Yeah, it looks like Banny is gonna be. Uh, you know, I've I've seen we've watched a couple of Furio games this season, Iyer, and every single time, it's been Banny on top. Like, uh, once again, top killing, uh, top assist. Well, actually, no. This time, uh, he will actually not get the the top assist. That will go to his medic. But I, I have seen him top assist over skis. So, uh, and once again, just putting up 
insane stat lines 4.9 kd 7.7 kd uh and yeah just uh i mean it's pretty remarkable to not see a single non-medic player from the side of the microwave like breaking that red wall on the dpm yeah it's this is probably as as dominant of a stat line as you will see i mean even looking at the ubers like having three more ubers on a cost map is really big especially when you consider that two of those were them just holding on to point without using if you look at the uh the advantages lost um because usually you look at advantages lost and you're like oh well that means that they did poorly but on cough that's actually a good thing because that usually when you have uber and you lose advantage that means that you're holding point for so long and didn't have to use you didn't get forced or anything that actually the other team just ended up having to form in and build and were unsuccessful at uh trying to get the force off so big props there to uh skis uh unfortunately skis will not be normalizing drops as uh he has tweeted in the past zero drops for both medics uh i mean you saw he was trying his darndest there just like literally just like daring a scout yeah i, I don't remember which one was yeah, he was they 30 HP, dare. took a pipe and a stick from uh, Chunky there, but just decided to keep on walking forward the rest of his turn, and uh, just uh, didn't die. Well, I don't, I don't think there's really too much more to say about uh about this game, I. So, yeah. uh, Bill, wait, Bill, do you have anything to say about these numbers? Maybe some six-digit ones. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Well, you know, if you guys remember at the beginning of this of this match, I made a prediction. He he did make a prediction. Yeah, that's right. Who is clicking their freaking keyboard? That's Shears. Oh, that is our yeah. You better be sorry, producer Jesus Christ, Shears. dude. That is our loud ass producer Shears. Yeah, okay. as I was saying, I made a very specific prediction at the beginning of this match, or I said that. Our top damager would be Eric, and our second top damager would be Chunky. And as you can see from the numbers, I was wrong. Well, you were wrong on 50% of it. You know what? Second place is first loser, Ire. This is true. So there. <laughs> all right, anyway, well, guys, that's going to be all uh, for us guys, tonight. The if you want to check out from some Lister more 200, great, the great gameplay fired. like this... Be sure to check out more of our stuff at youtube.com slash thebuildozer where you can find all sorts of great gameplay tips and commentary for all of you. Thank you for coming out for our excellent scream of Froyotech versus the Microwave in RGL Invite. You guys have a good night. Yep. Everybody, by the way, give hearts to our producer Shears. Always love to give some love to... Yeah, love to give some more love. Uh, I'm good at words. But uh, yeah, always give some love to the producers. They're the ones that make this possible. They do the streamy boys, and uh, they make sure that you guys are able to catch all of the action. So everybody give hearts in the chat, and we'll see you later. Yeah.